Enemy Moab incoming. Hey guys and girls, how you all doing? It's Kirsty, as usual, with another gameplay commentary. And this one is going to be a little bit longer, but I do apologise guys for the standard of this gameplay. It's actually not the sort of thing that I generally would be posting, but because I haven't been feeling that well recently, I haven't had a chance to really pull a lot of gameplays and things like that. So this was just a random gameplay out of theatre. I only had around 20 minutes to pick two gameplays and I randomly picked this one and the other one's 100 plus which is quite an entertaining game I think to watch but it is on Bakara and if you guys have noticed a few of my recent videos there have been a couple on Bakara out of my recent postings so I thought it's better to switch it up and add something else into the middle because unfortunately, I'm one of those people that plays certain maps really, really well. I get Moabs on all maps, but I just tend to get the more entertaining Moabs on certain maps. Or the more high-scoring gameplays on certain maps. And that's all well and good. But I'm sure it's not the best for you guys sitting at home thinking, Fuck, like, Kirsty, didn't I just see this last week? And how's that for a major fail? I managed to run in to half of their team. And it would have been a pretty decent game if it wasn't for that. And that random death beforehand. So anyway, let's actually get on to a little tiny bit about this gameplay. It's actually another double Moab fail. And I do get quite a lot of these. And that is the only reason that I am playing with the MP7. Because when you're trying to get these high scoring gameplays and double Moabs, especially when you're a big noob like me, you're just not going to be able to get them with something like a PM9 or actually I probably could honestly I've got that many Moabs with the fucking PM9 it almost is like the MP7 for me so that is why I am using the MP7 again I'm still looking for that elusive double Moab that just keeps ending up right out of my grasp which is really really sad when all these guys are getting triple Moabs and people are talking about quads and I can't even fucking buy myself a double Moab which is pretty sad but I think a lot of that comes down to your mindset and things like that. And I'm sure once I get my first one, I'll be dropping double Moabs left and right. Of course by then though, I'll be looking for the triple Moab, because that seems to always be the way it goes. I'm always sort of pushing it up to the next level, trying to find ways to improve. Not even just in gaming though, but just in life in general, honestly. I find if things aren't really a challenge and fresh and different and things like that then things do get a little bit stale and uneventful you know what I mean so I do try and push sort of myself to my limits in many regards sort of gaming career relationships things like that I try and sort of get the most out of any experience that I can and I really say to you guys at home because I am probably a little bit older than some of you guys especially some of you guys that are you know 15 16 and things like that that don't be in too much of a hurry to grow up and to rush your way sort of through life because i'm telling you guys it's too short just stay young enjoy it live it. live life to the fullest really i know that sounds so cliche but go out and try everything well all right look don't say i told you to try everything because your parents mightn't be that happy with that but definitely experience lots of different things in life because suddenly you'll find yourself to be my age which is 20 something that's all I'm gonna sort of give you and you really don't want to have any regrets because that probably is one of the worst things and I'm pretty lucky that I don't really have many regrets although one regret that I do really have was not standing up for myself more when I was younger. And for you younger guys at home, I think this is really, really useful. Because I can really look at this from a more adult perspective now. That a lot of bullies, they're actually not that tough. They're actually little wussy, little small penis boys who are pretty much getting none, getting no love at home, getting no love from, you know, girls and things like that. And they're not actually that tough. And 
honestly. Your parents might say, you know, just ignore them, just do this and that. And at the end of the day, half the time that's not going to work. I say, just kick their fucking heads in. I'm sorry if that sounds a little bit rude and all, but that is one thing that I do really regret. Now growing up as an adult, that I let people sort of take advantage of me and make me feel badly and physically hurt me. You know, I'm not saying go and kick the shit out of someone who's never physically hurt you, but if someone's going to try and start you and actually physically hurt you, then hit them back. I know parents always say not to do that, and we do sort of encourage that with uh, my stepsons, but we do encourage them to stand up for themselves too. They are a little bit younger though than some of you guys are, which, you know, gives them a little bit less freedom in where they can choose to actually stand up for themselves. It's a little bit different when you're not really that old. But yeah, that's probably one of the only real regrets that I've ever had. And looking back at it as an adult now, I really realised that some of these people were just really, really sad. And once I got a little bit older, say 15, 16, went to a new high school, I pretty much decided that I wasn't going to take shit from no one. My first day at the new high school, this girl, she was sort of bullyish. I don't know why though, like, she was like this skinny little twig. Like, I was pretty small too, but wow, this chick was a grade lower than me too. So I got right in the small's face and pretty much told her how it was going to be and she thought I was going to smack the crap out of her. And I didn't even need to. And that pretty much summed up my experience at the high school I ended up spending the rest of my time at. If you go to a new school and, you know, the first day, people think that, wow, you're going to stand up for yourself? Guaranteed. People just aren't going to fuck with you no more. And that has been my experience and that is really something that maybe some of you guys could take on board. I know it's really sort of hard at the time but, but looking back at it years later I honestly wish that I was tougher at my first high school instead of allowing people to sort of bully me and shit like that and this really wasn't what I was going to talk about in this commentary at all. This is actually the second time I've tried to record this today. First time getting interrupted by the boyfriend, which does happen quite frequently. And it was actually a completely different topic in general. It was more so based on the game, and more sort of based on the game, but more so based on the game than what I've actually been talking about. And I really think that this is probably better being more beneficial to actually life and people in general and I'm sure to a lot more of you guys at home because everyone's been bullied or made to feel like shit for being who they are and honestly guys just don't ever let anyone let you feel like crap for being you go out be an individual be exactly who you are because honestly when you grow up these things that people are picking on now at high school, things that are different to other people, are actually going to be the things that set you apart from other people. And you're going to be the one who's off happy with the nice missus and the nice car and the nice house, while these scumbags who really, they really have something missing from their life, so to speak. Unless they figure it out sometime soon, they're not going to really change. They're going to grow into be adults who are pretty much morally spiritually, uh, spiritually bankrupt which isn't really a nice way to be so as you'll see there was the nice fail there me cracking the shits i shouldn't have actually rushed so hard but with my team constantly triple capping you do get that so anyway guys i hope you did enjoy the commentary and the topic and everything like that make sure to leave a like if that if you feel that the video did deserve it and I'll see you soon.